All that remains, baby. Let's get some hype going. It's funny because last Friday I made a tweet asking, what are you listening to today? And Phil, the lead singer of All That Remains, commented on it like, oh, are you talking about today or next Friday? And I said, oh, today, by the way, when's like new All That Remains coming? And then he just favored in my tweet and then replied back like, oh, I thought you were talking about today. So he didn't necessarily answer my question. I'm like, eh, okay, whatever. But it's cool that Phil like replied to my tweet. I, I didn't even know that he followed me on Twitter. So that was cool. He was kind of indirectly trying to tell me that there's new music coming. So that was sick. The new song is called Divine. The thing about All That Remains, their OG metalcore, the, the Fall of Ideals is one of the best metalcore records of all time. I love this band when I was in high school. So I'm excited for some new music from OG metalcore. So look, that's all we need for Chit Chat. So All That Remains. Divine. Oh yeah, they got Jason Richardson. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, oh. Yeah, this sounds classic all around. Let's go. Are we in 2004 again? <laughs> Dude, who's their drummer now? I like when the, how the music video gets all white and clear for this chorus. That's a good fit for the game, man. Eight point five, eight point three, eleven out of ten. Damn, this is a good song for real, for real. Seven point two, eight point five. A little too old for me. Well, look, I grew up with this style, so there is some nostalgia, and I think nostalgia plays a big role into why I enjoyed this. But at the same time, 
this was just a fun track this was just a metal fucking banger there's nothing much else to it and i say that as a good thing so if i'm going to break it down to the pros and cons number one pro look i'm going to talk about it i talk about it all the time but the structure to this track was easily my favorite part about all this all the main song because for like a comeback song for after some time they could have done a very predictable song but it, they didn't and what i liked is that it had a, a, a structure that we're familiar with but there were so many changes that kept it interesting so i actually had a really good conversation with landon tours from the plot and you on my new metal bird podcast channel here's a good plug I started a whole new channel with a podcast with landon tours that guy's fucking nutty but he talked about as a songwriter one of the most challenging things to do is to do the verse chorus verse chorus bridge chorus but keep it interesting sorry just a quick little pause but sorry about this ruben guy that's ruining this review he's been banned because he was actually being more toxic later on so it just sucks that sometimes you get these bad apples it's one of the unfortunate things when you're live streaming and making youtube content at the same time so we actually have a new mod since but uh if you come on live streams um come hang out and uh just be respectful okay don't be like ruben right so when i review things it's not like i have a problem with verse course verse course bridge course but i have a problem with verse one being the exact same as verse two or the first chorus being the exact same as the third chorus i just love those deviations i love those changes that just brings the song to the next level but there's still that repetition that you can still have fun to like they brought that main riff from jason uh, like in the ending and the intro and i think in the bridge too but then that chorus happened three times but then the final chorus was a little bit extended it's shit like that that i loved about this song pro number two is that this song isn't trying to be anything more than just all our mains they're not trying to keep up with the trends they're not trying to do something like i don't know something new metal or anything this is just classic metalcore and through the riffs through the hooks through the vibe it just had that same energy and vibe as something from like 2004. um another pro is that i really like the chorus in this this chorus was just simple to sing along to i love the melody i love how it was done in the music video with this white shot too to emphasize the, the chorus it was just a, a fun song with fun riffs high energy and not over in your face heavy but when it did have those breakdowns they were just fun to groove out to the whole point of the song is that it was fun classic fun metalcore this is an 8.3 out of 10 for me but that is my thoughts on all that remains divine i'm curious to know what your thoughts are so comment down below spice up my life guys what you think about this song i'd love to know also if you've gone to this point of video and you haven't clicked off yet then i appreciate you man feel free to subscribe button. feel free to leave a like during the video but on that thing tune in until next time peace